many players, both new and old, are looking for the best ways to make their endgame builds even more efficient, with good, balanced stats. And in today's video, I want to cover how you can achieve that, what you need to be aware of, and what's the best place to farm such armor. If you ever want to get a triple hunter stat in within your build, then let this guide lead the way. So let's start with the basics. Many armor pieces will drop out varying levels from low 50s to high 60s. The highest armor pieces will be the ones with 64 in them, but you can get a 68 stat piece to drop, which is not only the highest, but also the most rarest piece to ever get, unless it's a exotic. From there, you can bump your stats up by masterworking it for extra plus 12, and the additional stat mod for a plus 10, so overall you're looking at a 80 stat legendary piece of armor. You can extend your stats further via mods and now subclass fragments as well. For example, using the Radiant Light or Powerful Friends mod can grant you a plus 20 in either mobility or strength stat, and these alone are enough to help you reach your ideal stat without needing to sacrifice a mod slot in your process. Your subclasses as well can help with some key fragments giving you an extra plus 10 in a given stat. However, at the same time it can also take away from a given stat and rather make a stat even more worse than it currently is. Even if you use a fragment with negative stat effects, for example, it's not the end as you can still pull it back via your armor stat spread. So how do you control the stat spread of an armor piece so you can get the dream rolls? You firstly need to know that there's a thing called grouping, which splits how your armor stats are spread out. Mobility, resilience and recovery are in group 1, while discipline, intellect and strength are in group 2. How the game organizes this is that it will take from each group and split them into a random stat that equal the amount your stat roll gives. So if you have a 68 roll armor piece to drop, then the game will split 34 into group 1 and then 34 into group 2. As you can see from the example, you can see where both the highest amounts have landed to and the leftover minimum stats getting what is left. This is important to know as this is how you'll be able to control stat threads of any armor piece you have in game, and also leads to one of the most important mods you'll come to rely on. Ghost shells now can get an armor mod for specific stats you have in game. They cost only 3 slots, but what they do is allow users to get a minimum of plus 10 in whatever stat piece you ask for. So if you want a high discipline stat for some arms, then you slap on your discipline armor mod and so forth for your resilience, recovery, strength, etc. Now why this is important to use these mods is because of the grouping options and how they can affect the overall stat spread. You'll want to look at the stats and pick at least 3, and pick the one that's not in the grouping option. So mobility, resilience and discipline. Discipline isn't in the first group, so pick the discipline mod on your ghost. Doing this now, all you need to do is calmly wait for the armor piece to drop in the given stat range and hope it splits the stat into the given area, and then you can customize it as you see fit. It will take a few tries to do, but this is honestly the best way to get the best stats for your armor pieces. So to tie this all up, where do you get good armor to farm to? Well, here's a list of options to pick and choose from that I've found that a lot of users have relied on. Master Duality is one of the best options to pick, as it can drop high stat armor, is easy to do, drops double loot, and you can farm Kiato non-stop and without issue on your end. Plus it's all going to be artifact armor, which is huge for the additional mods you can add from the artifacts. We then have Master Raids, all offer armor focusing as an additional reward for all who complete certain encounters. They are in rotation and will switch between the given stats so you never miss out. This should make it easier for those to control their stat spread since you know what you will be getting and how you can attune it to your liking. Next we have the Helm Vendors, which to me is one of the easiest ways to stat focus your armor with little effort. All you need to do here is get an Umbral Engram and give an Umbral Energy for the Vendors. This is what I tend to rely on the most as you'll be getting the two needed items on a daily basis, and although the stat spread isn't as strong compared to master content, it still allows you to reach your goal easily by filling in what is needed and left over. You can get an easy 64 stat roll armor just by focusing on them here, and that's it. We then have Throne World Master Activities such as Master Story Mission and Master Wellspring. They are tough to do, but not impossible. And for that, you'll get high stat gear to drop with ease. So there you have it, a simple guide to high stat armor and what to keep in mind while doing so. 
I will hopefully do an even more in-depth version in the near future. But for the time being, I just wanted to show you guys a quick guide on the given topic itself. So if you enjoyed the video, then please leave a like and a sub, and also follow me on Twitter to keep up to date with Destiny content. Once again, thanks for stopping by, stay safe, and I'll see you on the next one.